what they did 2,000 years ago now. During this period, Christian period, Malta was involved. And it had to be anchored <coughs> by the coming of St. Paul and Mary Magdalene to Malta because this was the new dispensation energy, the energy of the new era. And so we have got St. Paul's in Malta through the shipwreck and look at the symbols. Fire and the serpent. Okay. The, the, the serpent is the energy of the goddess of the old temples and 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 in the legend there is St. Paul they're putting the fire or a and this serpent jumps out of the fire and he throws it back into the fire and the old energy of the goddess is suffocated by the masculine energy of the new era. The energy of the goddess went into dormant period. The goddess and the feminine energy were not part of the new energies. It was too masculine, the energies that were coming through. We have got the Arabs, the Malta. Malta again had to pass through these two because it was important to bring also the Muslim energy into Malta. We were also Muslims all of us, and then we were re-Christianed later on by the Normans and the, and the Knights. And we have got the Knights of Malta. So the, the Knights of Malta brought the, that energy, and especially the Maltese cross, which became then the Maltese cross, which is powerful center. So this is the modern Christian era. During that process, anybody that was anybody big-headed or small-headed or half-headed or big empire or half thin point empire had to come to Malta either by occupation or by invite or by, by shipwreck or whatever or by bombing us. Everybody came to us from the temple builders, but that's old, to the Phoenicians, the Phoenicians then the Carthaginians, the Carthaginians then the Romans came then Byzantium, you're talking, then the Normans, after the, the Normans, the Spanish, we have got the Spanish, then we have got the, uh, uh, no, the Arabs first, then the Normans, then the Spanish, we've got the Knights of Malta, then the French try to enter for a couple of hours, <laughs> <laughs> and, and the British were, were invited and they stayed, <laughs> um, overstayed. And, 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 and they overstayed their stay, their invite, and they stayed 160 years, and then we became us again. But everybody, you can think about it now, everybody that uh, had to come to Malta. And now my experience of people, meeting people from Finland, from, from Brazil, from New Zealand, everybody says, this island has got a pool, has got something special. And you can see why these people have to be here. Uh, the, the Knights fortunately gave us um, many things. They, were sort of, they built something that we can be proud of um, because of them, whatever. Because if they left it to us, more we would have built Slima. Tight, you know. <laughs> um, but the, at least they left us a city, a three cities, a bit of Medina through the Arabs. Look at the Arabs, what they left, no? Medina. Um, Fortunately, we were not there, sort of type. Mm. And then we started building Yusida, Slima, Bujibba, and uh, sort of this stuff. But the Maltese, uh, the Knights gave us the Maltese cross. The Maltese cross is given to us again, it's being rebaptized for this energy, the age of freedom, to bring peace from discord, and to manifest our wishes. And it is the God's sacred violet transmuting flame of love, mercy, and forgiveness, and compassion. I can send you this, or whoever wants this, I can send it to you. Ah. Now, we have unplugged the wire. 
because we have unplugged the wires, we are in darkness. If we switch off the whole thing here, we will go in darkness. It has been dormant, unplugged, and unused for 12,000 years. So what are we doing here? So the dormant energies of Malta and all the energy points of the Earth plus what we do in California, the energy points of the center coast of California. This is Christine's part in California to re-energize these energy points of California. These light energy stations were dormant for 12, 30,000 years. So, what are we here for? We are asked to re-energize these energy points. There is a protocol, there is a way to do it, but one of the simple things is to visit these energy points, acknowledge, ask permission, bless them, and connect. Once you connect, the energy of the temples wake up, open like a flower, like a petal, and the petal starts to move, anticlockwise, starts to move and pass on the energy to us. Because now we are the temple, the walking temples for the new year. We are going to take the energies that the temples have got for this last 12,000 years, have kept, have <laughs> say, when are you going to wake up? When are you going to come and see me as you should see me? When we do that, then they pass that energy to us, so we can carry in our hearts to wherever we go. So it's, you are the temple energies, walking energies. And there's a way to do it, by going into these sites and acknowledge them. I can send you also, I can send it to Andrew, both the Maltese Cross and the, the protocol, how to go and visit, but we can do a visit to the group of a temple, or one or two, and do the protocol, because there is a protocol how to go into the temples. Once we do that, the energies are passed on to us. Good. So this is our minute. This our mission is to heal the dark energies of Atlantis, and to revive, reactivate the energy points of the temples. In doing so, we will restore spiritual, ecological balance to the earth. Christine will talk more about this balance to higher dimension in the next talk, because about Lemuria, this is important that we do everything in balance. The key point is balance between masculine and feminine inside me, then masculine and feminine, when we come together as gender, as sexes. But we are going to be balanced, so when we meet, we are balanced together. If we are not balanced, that's why marriages are collapsing, divorces, separations, because we cannot stay together if there isn't this balance. It's natural. It's not something that because... <laughs> So the balancing of the energies of Lemuria, Atlantis, lunar, solar, yin, yang, muscle, muscle, emotion, into it, rational, mental, light and left brain, spirit and matter. It's important that we balance the heart and the mind. Everything is in balance. That we do, whatever we do, we don't go extremes. Even politicians, even elections around the world, look at election results around the world. People had enough of left and right, blue and red, extremes. People are voting 50-50, 51-49. Get together and talk for the sake of the small country. Why can't we, politicians, whatever, create politicians that can talk to each other instead of shouting at each other for the best of this small local authority that is called Volta. God Almighty, we're 500,000 people. We, have, we cannot get... This should be a paradise on earth. We can do this small island the best time. If we can talk instead of shouting at each other. I think you're going to Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the balance of masculine 
of Lemuria and Big End Atlantis. Once we have got balance, then, then we create what you call the Tetrahedron or the Star of David, where there is the balance between the masculine and the feminine triangles. Ones that comes together, not split, separated. We are creating the diamond to create the perfect Merkaba. Now, that's it. We are in the fourth stage. We are ready for the fourth stage. The evolution of the fifth root race. Remember we said the fifth sun? Where there is the new sun coming through there? We are creating the fifth root race. Half of you here are part of the crystals part of the indigo. The indigo were starting to come in at about the 50s and the 60s. The first indigo crystals started to arrive, my generation, after the war, because we wanted to prepare human race for the next stage from destruction after the Second World War. Then the second phase started to be around the 60s, the, the evolution of the 60s, then in the 90s, and now the crystals, the crystal children, those kids, little people have got kids, five-year-olds, six-year-olds, they are all crystal. These people have got like Windows 27, not Windows 7, <laughs> so they are already ready, prepared for all the evolutionary, technological changes that are coming through. We had to upgrade our DNA. We have to change, to move and notch up. These crystals are done, are already with a chip that is ready for the future. Literally, I'm talking, literally these people, these kids have got a chip. They know they have got intuition, they telepathically, they know the answer before you ask the question. So they are ready for the future. We are updating our DNA. Somebody asked me about DNA. I can't remember who. Um, DNA. The three stands are started to be activated. Um, Everything that we are doing, once we start changing our thinking, our beliefs and so forth, our DNA starts to be activated. And we start moving from three strands to four to five to six. Some of us have got already six, seven, some of the nine, some of us about 11 already. So we are changing our DNA. Things that will change in the future. We'll be changing, I will say it now, later on. We are changing our body. Our body has to change to a different vibration. Our body, our physical organs and bones structure is going to change. During the process, we are going to feel the growth pains. We are going to have headaches, pains, uh, th things that we never have generally, and they're starting to come. Don't go to doctors, please. The doctors don't understand these things. They are part of the process. Take whatever you need, go to alternative, go to the sea, go and swim, uh, take rest. These are part of the changes. There's nothing to do. The, uh, the changes that are happening to our body means that it will change our DNA. The other thing that will change, because we have got four blood types, we are creating the fifth root race, we will see the fifth blood type. And our blood is going to change because it doesn't need to be dense for third dimension. It needs to be lighter. So it will not be red, it will be lighter and it will be not thick. These things are already seen medically by doctors. They know it. It's happening, especially in the East, in China. These kids that are coming through are already these new kids. Many kids, even in Europe and the Morta, are starting to be the crystals already. All the new crystals. So those of you who have got kids, listen to what they are talking. 
listen to what they are saying. Those that are teachers forget about the books, about the exams,